Hey everybody, uh, I've seen a lot of questions on the Discord over the years about how do I design the grips. And there's certainly many ways to go about it from using the form modeling method to using regular solid modeling with fillets. Both methods have good and bad points. Form modeling is pretty hard to learn, almost an art form in itself, and is very different from regular soldering, solid modeling that we use all the time with Fusion 360, which is what this video will be based on. Solid, solid modeling with fillets will hit its limits pretty quickly and eventually kicks up a bunch of errors that won't allow you to get the shape that you're really looking for. So with all that in mind, I want to show you how to go about creating good curves and shapes with the solid modeling method. So I'm going to use an image of one of the Porsche wheels I made a while back as the basis for this tutorial. So let's get started by doing a little calibration of the canvas to start with. Now I know that when I originally made this, it was 290 millimeters in diameter. So I click on the outside there and there, and just type in 290. Now I want to center the canvas as much as I can. That seems pretty good. Okay, let's do some sketching. Let's make a guideline construction just so we can figure out where things are. And start with creating a spline. Now I want to go over the grip image, extend past it on both ends. And you'll see why later. Okay. Now let's bend that around so it looks about right. Yeah, that works somewhat parallel to what's going on on the outside. And then one more from here. Let's make it a slight angle up. And put a slight curve in it too. All right. Now let's put in a couple of points for where I want the grip to start and where I want it to end. So there, two, and make sure I get it on the right line. Three. So make sure it's on the spline and not the construction line. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to 3D sketch mode. And I want to create my ellipse. Click on the point. Then I'm going to switch planes. I want the vertical plane. So I click on the vertical plane. And then I want to swing that angle around so it aligns with the grip image. So it's 30 degrees for me. And then I want to choose the width of this ellipse. Now in this grip, I think it was 34 millimeters wide at the top. Oops. So 34. And I don't want to put an angle on it. So I click and then drag up and select the the height of the grip and I think it was 42 for this one all right so then I have my ellipse 
on the vertical plane, the center line running through the middle. I'm going to do the same on the other end. Select the vertical plane. This one I want to drag it to about that's negative 10 for this one. But in this case, I also want to put an angle on it. So I'm going to say positive 15 angle. I want to make it 25 wide. So 15 and 25 wide. Click and then drag up. And let's make it 32 high. All right. So now I have the top and the bottom profiles ready to go. Uh, let's work on the, the center section. And ellipse, click on that, select the vertical plane. I want to drag that vertical plane around 90 degrees. Let's align it. Okay, now this angle, let's make this one 20 degree angle and 16. Accept that, and then let's make it. 25 high. And then same again at this end. Select the vertical plane, spin it around 90 degrees. And make it slightly bigger, so we'll say 20. And put an angle on it the same, which I think was also 20. Okay, click, and let's make it the same as well, so 25. Well, it looks like I selected the wrong plane. So let's undo that, start again. It's on the right plane, drag the angle around, Six, eh, 20, 20, and 25. That's better. So now you can see all the profiles where I need them to be, and they all have center lines that connect them. Next up, I want the loft tool. So select profile one and two for the connecting. Now, if you look at it from this point, it just goes straight there. So we want to use the guide or the center line. So I'm going to highlight that and then click on the center line, and that'll give us that nice curve that we're looking for. You start it to see, start seeing it come together, and okay, and do the same thing for the others for the other one. Now it can be hard to select that, so let's just hide that for now. Select that. Select the center line. There's the curve. Now we want to highlight, bring up the body, the original body again. See, it's going to be cutting. We don't want it to cut. We want it to join. Now the two will be joined together. Just like that. Okay. Take a better look at it without the canvas. You can see what's going on. All right. Let's bring the canvas back. And now we start with the fillets. So let's bring out the filling tool. I like to start with this one first. So. I want it to be, usually it's set on constant, but I want variable for this one, because there's two different two different fillet shapes here. So let's select this point here for the first one, and then we'll higher up that one there. So now, in the top view, we just pull that out until it looks about right. 
then go the same on this one. Pull that out until it starts to look about right. You can make it bigger or smaller, whatever you like. And if you actually want to look at it from this angle, you can see that the positions I chose means that it will be nice for your thumb to kind of wrap around it nice and easy and to be comfortable. That's that. And then we can fill up the other edges too. One. Let's change it back to constant. Actually, I'm going to leave that top one. Uh, so. There you go, so nice curves on that. The reason I'm going to leave the top one is because I want to make that cut through there. If you see on the canvas, it's got that flat spot on top for the button. So let's create that. So I'm going to bring up the origin. Select that face, hit an offset plane, and drag it out past the actual body. Not all the way, just there's good. All right, get rid of the origin. Select that face with that new construction plane, and let's make some sketches. I don't need it in 3D Sketch for this, so let's get rid of that. Now, we can kind of guess, guesstimate where we want that flat spot to be and the angle we want it at. We can always change it later. So let's make it a, maybe 15 is too much, so let's try 12. Seems okay, but it's a little short. So let's move it. We want to close this off so we can extrude it. And, all right, let's extrude this across and see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Throw in some fillets, take off those edges. You will want to make different fillets for this one, so let's make this one five. And then select that edge and make that two. And then let's make this edge uh, four. And we have different Phillips to make it like nice and comfortable. If you want, you can change them out. Make that one eight. That well, looks pretty good. Now, say you don't like the taper down this end. Well, how do we change that? Well, it's pretty simple. What we do is we go back to our original sketch. We pull up where things are. Let's just get on the right. There we go. Now you still have all these constraints here. This whole body is all constraint driven, so you can change these at any point. So let's make that 30. Let's just make this one the same as the top. So that way it'll be even, mostly even the whole way down with just a slight change from 34 to 30. And we're going to keep on that 15 degree angle. Hit finish sketch and all the changes come through. And you can certainly undo it and hit it back. And say you want to make this top end you want to make that angled as well. It's easy enough to do. Click on the ellipse, hit M for the move button, and set our pivot point. It's there in the center, and we can rotate that around. 
Let's try it at 15 as well. There we go. And that's, so that's now rotated on the angle as well. You can see it there. Like I said, you can change these at any point. They're all constraint driven. So if you want to make it look better or different or more comfortable, or you print it out and you don't like it, you can change it pretty easily. And that's how you do it with minimal fillets, constrained, nice, nice curves, great shapes. That's it.